Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, I got my homie Dallas on here and he's going to speak, you know, the real, what's going on about trauma, how things been, how's life. He's going to teach you guys uh, just everything. Dallas is one of the dopest entertainers. He has a mouth for him. He's definitely going to be new into the game. How you doing, Dallas? How you been? I'm feeling blessed. Yes, how about yourself? I'm good, I'm good. I miss you, buddy. I miss how, you too. What you been having in the works? What's been going on with uh, life and everything? What you having coming up? Well, life's been beautiful and amazing. But you know, uh, right now I'm in a court system, so, and I'm in recovery right now, so recovery is behind perks, and then the system is behind the hit and run that I did, so yeah. Okay, when do you um, get off of um, out the system and um, off of house arrest and stuff, Dallas? I honestly don't know, um, which we're still waiting on, um, but I should hear something back sooner. Than okay, later. so do you have any goals or anything that you're trying to reach when you do get off of house arrest and everything like that? Um, yes, but I don't believe in goals. I believe in purpose. Um, so, like, I feel like a goal is you living in the future and you just making up shit for shits and giggles. Our purpose is, I know what I wanna do, this is what I wanna do, and you're gonna stick to that. Um, do I have a purpose? Yes, and it is to break this motherfucking system down, real shit. And what, do you have any ideas about how do you wanna break the system down or anything like that Do you wanna express? Some, I feel like a lot of people are scared of the system because you're going up against the government, you're going up against lawyers, prosecutors, you're going up against a, a, a big system, so I do want to, you know, be able to be that voice for people who have felony ones, who can't speak for themselves, who's scared to speak for themselves, just people in general who are getting done wrong by the law. And I don't feel like the law is looking at human beings as human beings, but so much as criminals. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. You know, you, how old are you, by the way? 22. See, that's crazy because you just had a birthday, right? Yes. You I don't do. hear, you don't hear nobody your age, you know, talk like that. You know, people your age is partying or they just immature, and that's pretty dope. And I know you probably didn't heard that a lot. It's pretty understanding that you know you got young people wanting to party and stuff because that's still somewhat of me. But my main focus on is on my peoples, which is just not black people, but whites, Latinos, Asians, Dominicans whatever you want to call it. I just know every race has a little bit of racism and every race is being played by the law that some people don't even know their laws and they're getting played. Um, but for the most part, I do believe there is quite a young, uh, quite young people like me who can, you know, break the system as I'm trying to do, but probably are afraid because you're going up against a lot, a lot of higher people versus my name's not as high as these people names also i know it's going to be a challenge but a challenge i'm ready for but you know they hate when you know you get somebody you know your age young talented and this is just the beginning for you and you know you look now being 22 and imagine you being 35 and that voice you mess around and be on tv or something with this you know long as you keep going because i know that you are a very inspirational talker speaker you go to base camp you talk a lot you do a lot of you do a lot of things that people don't know about well also too i mean i don't feel like I, i'm not one of them people who feel like i know it all um i do feel like you know my mom my dad my siblings my grandparents you as my cousin a few other cousins a few other friends you know all helped me out with learning stuff in life that I didn't know before or that I didn't learn before. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, that's all I can say. It is really gonna be a lot of work and I really do hope I can be a voice for the people who have felony ones who can't get a job and can't get an apartment because I feel like that's bullshit. I feel like everybody deserves a second chance you know, people say, you know, that's a rapist, that's a molester, but you gotta ask yourself, why are they a rapist? Why are they a molester? Nobody comes out their mama's pussy just saying, I'm gonna touch this kid or I'm gonna rape this kid. You gotta come out. Something has to be done for you, done to you for you to do it to somebody else. And I learned that. Wow, that's that's pretty deep and that's some real shit. 
Um, you also do boxing, so you all over the place right now. How's boxing coming, cousin? How's boxing coming? Boxing is coming really, really good. Um, I kind of simmer down on boxing just because it's a lot going on in life. And when I say a lot, a lot going on in life where um, I'm put on an ankle monitor. Oh, wow. And so y'all can see he he everything he's saying he's been through and you know we're all cut so it's not an act. Yes, and um, a lot of people have asked me why am I put on the ankle monitor? And the thing I will tell them is because I'm outspoken and because I'm speaking up for myself. The system does not like when you are being outspoken or when you're speaking up for themselves. So I learned that if you're either going to play it their way to get out of prison quicker or whatever you're in, whatever situation you're in quicker, or you're going to put up a fight like Martin Luther King Jr. did, like Malcolm X, like Rosa Parks, like you got, if the list goes on, you're going to put up a good fight. And that's what I'm trying to do for my people because I feel like people be bullshitting a bullshitter and really not putting up a good fight that I know we can put up a good fight for each other. When do we stop and we come together and we really be unifying and here for each other versus we attacking each other. I can't agree with marching and saying black lives matter, but the next day we're killing each other. It makes zero sense to me. Right. I agree with that. Uh, you know, and, and um, I also have another question, too. How is the counseling world going and base camp world and all that good stuff going for you and you speaking your mind? How is that going? Counseling is going good. Um, I'm in base camp behind Percocets, which I did Percocets behind me being sexually abused as the age of four. Okay, guys, we're going to stop that and uh, finish and then go for a part two. He wants to talk about Percocets. We're going to hit that for a part two. Wait.